Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. The last few days leading to the end of the year, I had an epiphany about life, life in general. All this just comes down to not being aligned with the person I want to be and the person I want to become and the goals that I have. I've also been feeling stagnant and I feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm over it. I need a change and I've got to make the change. I need something to kick me up and tell me, girl, stop playing with yourself because you don't want to repeat the same stuff that you repeated other years. So in order for me to make that change, I have to decide on who I want to become. I think constant change is good for growth and experiences. I think it's important for all of us to not get stuck in one version of ourselves and think this is our lifetime situation. Once we're able to step into the new version of ourselves, everything starts aligning with the reality of where we're supposed to be at a particular point. I see who I want to become. I can feel the new version of who I want to become. I have a vision of who I want to be and I've decided I'm going to be in that headspace. I want to wake up in the morning energized and hopeful about the day in a new version of myself daily overriding limiting beliefs that may hold me back, working on my self-concept and continue to have a positive mindset. I heard somewhere that if you don't believe you can be that person you decide to become, it will lower your frequency and you won't attract what you actually deserve. It's a dominant thought and it will reflect in your reality and will keep you stuck. I think it's time for me to allow the old version of myself go and allow the new version to drive. Then I adopt the right habits. Self-love is the driving force behind the new versions of ourselves. Self-love is embracing the most authentic version of ourselves. It empowers us to step into our greatness. When we love ourselves, we embrace all that we truly are. There's no point embracing the new version of yourself when you still treat yourself with disrespect. We can make a conscious effort to practice and demonstrate self-love by adopting the right habits. We can fill our minds, bodies and souls with nourishing food, thoughts and ideas. We can do things that make us happy. We can prioritize sleep. We can look after our bodies, our skin. We can exercise. We can journal. We can meditate. 24 hours is a lot of time and few hours dedicated to self-love, habits that makes us feel like our new self, shows commitment to ourselves. It is this very commitment that shows you're ready to embody the new version of yourself. When we adopt habits that self-loving, we honor not just what we need in the moment, but also where we want to be in the near future. If I had a deadline, for tomorrow and I choose to procrastinate by strolling through Instagram or going out, I'm simply sabotaging what my future self needs. With a routine, I'm able to block habits and have enough time to do the things I love and meet deadlines. I really want to get back into practicing healthy habits again and focus on the ones that really matter and be consistent. The main one being working out. I haven't worked out in months. Working out is one of those things that makes me feel so good, energetic and happy. And I want to focus on those habits that help me to achieve a sound mind, body and soul. We must adopt healthy habits every day through consistent practice and commitment and they must align with our goals and be unique to us. Now is the time for us to make choices to behave respond and think in ways that propel us in becoming our new version we must act like the person we want to become let's imagine the new version of yourself wakes up at six every morning in order to align with your new self and adopt the habits of your new self you have to take action you must set an alarm go to bed early avoid distractions to get enough sleep because you deserve it and wake up energized once the alarm goes up in essence, you must put in the work to become the new version of yourself. I want to start again doing things my new version will do. One of the most effective ways is with a productivity system, simply a routine. If you want to change your life and become a new version of yourself, you can begin to form habits such as getting a planner, making daily to-do lists, or carving out dedicated work time and coming to these practices. The person willing to take action will more likely be reaching their goals with a routine. 
you can simply put all the qualities and attributes of this new version aligned with your behavior by taking action and being proactive. In a nutshell, reinventing yourself, you need to have a game plan. It's almost like making up a character. Ask yourself, how do I behave? What do I do to live in a self-loving way? List five things that your future self does. Reinventing yourself is more like, if you're here, what do you do to get over there? You have to start by having a positive mindset, acting on goals, adopting healthy habits, and having a working productivity system. Be clear with who you want to become, remove any fear and doubt, and align your actions with your behavior. I hope that when we start making these subtle changes into our lives, before we know it, we'll be living our dream lives. Here's a chance we're inventing ourselves this year.